Well, the shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And you know we went ahead and did those high-tech coated bullets. Well, we went ahead and loaded up some rounds. So on the left, you see 50 rounds using the black cherry high-tech coating. And on the right, there's 27 rounds using the old gold. And let's show you how nice they look. They're very professional results with these high-tech bullets. So uh, here's the close-up. These were the last three pulled off of the 50 and four of the random bullets that we took out to show you here. These are the high-tech black cherry coated bullets and they're just perfect. And these rounds look very professional. Nicely crimped, and they're ready to go. Show you the old gold color bullets, and again, they came out just so nice. Uh, we like the way the bullets are crimped and the way they look in the loaded rounds. So these are all ready to go to the range. But we only have 27 of these, as opposed to 50 of those. So... This gives us an opportunity to go ahead and catch up today by loading another 23 rounds to make 50 of these. And the purpose of this video is to show how well the Lee Auto Drum Powder Measure works when you go ahead and reset it up for the 8 grains of HS6. So we're going to go ahead and just set up the powder measure raw and see if it gives us 8 grains of HS6 after being disassembled and put back together. So notice to do the maximum accuracy of the Lee powder measure, the Lee auto drum powder measure, we're going to go ahead and neck expand mouth flare first as a separate procedure. So you see here we go. Expand and mouth flare. Expand and mouth flare and expand and mouth flare. We're going to do 23 of these and you see what happens is we flare this so that the bullet will enter the case mouth. So 23 of these are flared and when you run it through this die again with a powder measure attached you'll get an accurate throw every time. But we'll show you that. So the way this works is you take this cap off like so and then you install the Lee Auto Drum Powder Measure. So we installed the Auto Drum Powder Measure in the top of that Lee Powder Through Neck Expander Mouth Flaring Die, but this is the wrong drum. So let's go ahead and take this drum out. Harder to do with a camera in the way. So there's the drum. Now we go ahead and replace it with the drum that takes the 8 grains of HS6 charge. So put that in. And then fetch the little thumb nut that we dropped. Make sure that the O-ring is still in there. Tighten that back up, like so. There it is, not too tight. Now we got HS6 in this hopper. Put that in, open it up. Now we'll go ahead and throw three charges just to stabilize the measure. There's one. There's two. Here's three. Now some of you might want to do ten. It's up to you. Now, let's go ahead and take this one and run it over to the RCBS powder scale 
and see we have 8 grains of HS6. Okay, we'll go ahead and dump that charge into the pen. And it wouldn't surprise me though it was off. And indeed it is off just by a hair. Looks like it might be, uh, it's less than a tenth. So we can go ahead and make a little adjustment on the powder measure. Now of course all of us who have been using the Lee Auto Drum, there are six facets on this key. And each facet is a tenth of a grain. So if we want to increase the charge, we turn it counterclockwise to open up the little volume area here that meters the powder. If you want a smaller powder charge, you crank it in. And that makes this powder space smaller. Well, we want a little bit more, so not quite one facet. Like that. And that's what we did here. So here's another throw. Nice and smooth action. Now we'll come over to the... Dampen that a little bit. It's kind of wiggling. That looks pretty accurate. Looks like it's right on. Okay, let's go ahead and throw about 10 charges and then measure the 10th one. Okay, here's throw number 10. And you see it's pretty close. Just a hair light, but just a hair. Let's go ahead and throw another 10 and and weigh the 20th charge. Okay, so here's number 20. And that looks like it's right on it. Not bad. And now here's throw number 23. So you see, that's why we like the Lee Auto Drum powder measure, and uh, especially when we do the two-step, so you don't get any pops or clicks, and you get the kind of accuracy you want. That's probably good for a standard deviation around 10 or 11 or 12, somewhere around there. So now we take a case that has a bullet that's been placed on to the mouth flare of the case, Go ahead and seat the bullet right to the crimping groove and we'll just keep on doing that until we've got the 23. Seated. As you see here. Okay, we'll do the rest of them off camera. Now with the Lee factory crimp die, there shouldn't be any problem. We just go ahead and screw it right down until it touches the shell holder. Because this crimp adjustment was just used last night. So once that's down to touching... Oh, well, I guess we must, must have changed it because... There it is. So let's go ahead and run the, there it is, there's the crimp. Now I'd like to turn it a little bit and do a second, a second crimp to make sure it's an even crimp all the way around. So we crimp and then give it a little turn, crimp it again. Okay, you don't need to see all of that. Well, there they all are, the full 50 of the old gold high-tech reloads using eight grains of HS6. Let's show you that in close-up. We'll just grab the last three. 
put them right over. They look pretty nice. There's a little defect on the middle bullet, but that's not the high tech. That's a minor defect on the cast bullet. We'll see what kind of standard deviation we get with thrown powder charges using a smooth throw from the Lee Auto Drum powder measure. Bye for now.